Access to knowledge is essential for a healthy society. When scientific research is locked behind a paywall available only to people with expensive journal subscriptions or subscription-based academic databases, it hurts people with fewer resources. In 2012, malaria researcher Bart Knowles noticed a depressing trend. Doctors in sub-Saharan Africa knew less than their Western counterparts about developments in malaria treatment. The people hurt most by malaria were getting the worst care. Dr. Knowles attributes this problem directly to the fact that much of that research was published in paywalled journals. In Knowles' words, those working in well-endowed academic institutions in the North don't even notice this paywall in their day-to-day -day mining of scholarly material. But for scientists in the South, this is crucial. If you can't afford to pay, you can't read. Whether it's in Sub-Saharan Africa or here in California, it's wrong to keep the latest developments in science away from the communities that could most benefit from them. Assemblymember Stone's bill, AB 2192, will require that scientific research funded by the state of California be made available to the public within a year of publication. It closely mirrors policies regarding access to research funded by the United States government, policies that have been in place since 2013. EFF hopes to see AB 2192 pass the Senate and become a model for other state legislatures around the country to emulate. We also hope that the legislature treats AB 2192 as a foundation on which to build even stronger open access policies in the future. We urge the legislature to bring more state-funded research to the public on the date of publication. In the fast-moving world of scientific research, a one-year embargo is a very long time. To close, I'd like to tell you the story of a Colombian biologist named Diego Gomez. In 2011, when Gomez was still a graduate student, he did something that many researchers do every day without even thinking about it. He shared another scientist's paper with colleagues over the internet. That, arc, that act sparked a seven-year legal ordeal that could have put him in prison for years. Thankfully, the trial has ended and Gomez is safe. Today, the California legislature can ensure that no one ever faces similar risks on account of research funded by the state of California. I respectfully request your I vote on this bill.